Back in 1701, long before this land became a nation, Cadillac planted the colors of France on Detroit's shore. And thus began a rich and inspiring history which has brought Detroit to its finest hour. Detroit, Detroit State, State of Mind is on the air! <laughs> Bringing you the sounds of Detroit's underground, straight to your ear hole, rock, punk, and metal. If it's Detroit, you'll hear it here. Unless you're a dick. And now, your overlords... Rich and Dave. Detroit State of Mind is on the air. Episode 13. We got White Boy Hustle in the house today. What's up, brother? What's everything up? good? Yeah, everything's going good, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. What's your real name, or don't you want nobody to know? Are you uh, incognitous? I, I go by White Boy when I walk in gas stations by my house. They call me White Boy, you know, but my real name's Adam. Adam. So, yeah. So what, what got you into rap? Uh, I used to listen to rap in high school, like on uh, an old iPod Nano, and uh, mostly Eminem, angry type rap. I listened to Lil Wayne at the beginning. And then I kind of branched out. Like when Kendrick first dropped uh, Good Kid, Mad City, that kind of got me in the lyrical rap besides like Eminem. Like Lil Wayne has metaphors and stuff, but I think I branched out in what I like doing. And around that time is when I started like doing music. But I wrote for a long time, since probably like seventh grade. Which like, like poetry or, yeah, just, or like what? Just like poems. But uh, I started writing lyrics, like, end of high school, you know. So, so as far as lyrical content, is it, like, is it about your life? Is it true? Is it, you know, made-up stuff or uh, what? I have bipolar disorder, so a lot of what I write, like, comes from just, like, my thoughts and, like, experience. So I used to write a lot of angry shit, you know. Like, yeah, we heard some of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, what were you so <laughs> mad about? I don't know, just, like... Most of the time when I'd write angry, angry stuff with my uh, music, it would be because I'd feel like people weren't paying attention. To, like, out of frustration, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, out of frustration with it. I get that. So you're screaming louder from the rooftops. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. You must be in a good mood because I heard it in here yeah. one motherfucker all night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most of my uh, tracks that I'm, I've been trying to work on now, I don't put any uh, type of curse words in. Not like intentionally, just they don't come to mind when I'm writing anymore. Yeah, if you don't feel feel the need to use them, then don't. Yeah, you know. Yeah, think yeah, smarter. It doesn't make anything better. Yeah, I, I mean sometimes dropping th that bomb works so. Right, <laughs> but it, it right, can right. be effective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have it in every one of our songs. Yeah, well, yeah, we're 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 bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as far as the instruments on your recordings, uh, do you play all those, or do you, do you, uh, you collaborate with people? I collaborate. Yeah, the piano shit's nice. I collaborate with people. Um, I have producers I work with online. One of them I'm going to shout out, uh, Bardis. He, since the beginning when I started getting into rap music, uh, he'd, he'd help me out with getting instrumentals from him and stuff. So a big shout out to him. But I usually get uh, like beats online from like, because the type of music that I'm into, like with my rap, is different than a lot of stuff that's like around me. Like I could get. Detroit type beats, you know, a lot of people are into that type stuff, but uh, it's just not me. It's yeah. better to do your own thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And to find that type of stuff, you most of the time you got to look online, you know. Yeah. Which I I've started making my own instrumentals though, but I mean it's that's a work in progress, you know. That's always it's, evolving, man. It, that's a completely different ballpark than what I do. Yeah. You know? Do you play any instruments at all? or? Uh, I'm learning to play piano right now. I, I dabble in guitar, but only guitar for like sampling, you know, for right. different things. Yeah, you can make your own samples. Yeah. It's easy, yeah. I sampled uh, I love doing Minnie this stuff. Rapiritan on, uh, Rapiritan? Is, is that her name? Rapiritan? I am not familiar with that person. I, well, either. yeah, I, I sampled her on an old track I did a few years back, but I did a, I did a good flip, I think. 
flipping is pretty good with uh, with my rap stuff because I like going from like uh, 40s that type of stuff like soulful stuff and then I drop it in the intro and leads into my songs but that's basically what I do for sampling I don't do like beats yet yeah yeah I've never tried that either your songs definitely have like a very like like I said De La Soul like I don't know if you're hip to that or like hope that's not an insult or anything because De La no, Soul no. it's very smooth it flows thank you it's got some uh it's got some west coast vibe there too at least thank as far you. you know it's like some early 90s type uh, yeah. vibes and stuff and I'm, I'm totally into like old school rap and stuff yeah. I don't really listen to it anymore I'm more I like rock punk type stuff but yeah. I appreciate that stuff though yeah. too I mean I listen to like you know, how can you not yeah yeah I listen to like Nirvana and stuff, you yeah. know, Rolling Stones. All you can always of, pull something yeah. from from anything, you all know, types of, from all everywhere types of stuff. for sure. I just uh, I just got done with a video uh, for a song called Tired, and that's probably like my most sing songy type track I've done. Um, that's gonna come out in a couple months probably after I drop a couple other videos. What's the video that we're gonna be uh, premiering here today? Uh, time flies. And what's it about? Uh, just kind of like. Time passes really fast, and you know you gotta try and stay in the moment. You know. Yeah, I'll be fifty good. next month. That's I know what you mean, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's a drag. Yeah, getting old sucks. Well, how about we take a little break and then we'll uh, we'll drop that video. Okay, I'm down.
This is Jessica Z, drummer of Crimson Eyed Orchestra and lead screamer of the hormones, telling you to tune in and listen to the mouthiest DJs in Detroit on Detroit State of Mind. So have you done any live shows as of yet? or? Uh, yeah, I did two. I did one at the Bullfrog in like Redford near Detroit, I think. Yeah. And uh, I think they're shut down now, aren't they? I don't know. I think they it might be closed now. I don't know. That was my first show. I was so fucking nervous. How did it go? It went well. Like, I got it. Everybody loved it, you know. And then I did. But you're shitting bricks the whole time. Yeah, I would, well, I, I did it. I did it well, but, like, my eyes were wide. I had that adrenaline going and shit. But uh, my second performance I did at Corktown, in Corktown, at uh, Corktown Ca- Tavern. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It went well. Did you have to go upstairs? <laughs> yeah. 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 That bathroom, man. <laughs> Dude, how about lugging some guitar amps up those stairs or drums or anything? Yeah, that's yeah, a bitch. My uh, my friend was hitting on the bartender and stuff. That was how'd that work out? He got shut down because my mom intervened. <laughs> oh, come on, mom! I got mom blocked. <laughs> Shout out Wesley Hypes. <laughs> Wesley Hypes. Yeah. Nice. It's that's kind awesome. Of, kind of a nickname. So, like, as far as live shows, you ever thought about, like, having a backing band playing it live for I, you? Or? I'd love that. That would be amazing, that type of thing. I, like, my dream would be, like, first first dream with my music would be, like, just make a comfortable living off of it, and that's all. That's all I do. But, like, second dream, if I could, is to have the band behind me doing the instrumentals that I write to. That know? would be solid. That, that would yeah, be it would badass. be really, really cool. That would be badass. Well, that next level, man. Right. You know, take it there. Right. All the pianos, you get to find some guys with some talent, though. Oh God, yeah. yeah. So, so, who, so those are those are samples of the piano stuff, and uh, yeah, the I get what I do is I'll I'll get the instrumental from the producer, and they'll send me over to stems, which is each individual like noise, like the piano, the hi hats, that type of stuff, and then uh, what I do is I just change everything that I want to the levels that I want them at, and mix it. So with it busts them. out into like multi track. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Because uh, if you try to work with an MP3 for your instrumental, you're yeah, gonna, forget about you're it. You're gonna sound like shit. That's what I did at the beginning, and like, you get told it sounds like garbage, right? You know, but uh, look, I spent so much time on this. <laughs> yeah, I, I spent so much time on it, and then, oh, man. Yeah, audio still quali- shit. <laughs> yeah, audio quality, audio quality is a big part of that. Yeah, especially with like, I think rap music, because if your voice sounds garbage to the instrumental. I mean, nobody's going to listen to it. Yeah. So so as far as recording, like, do you record everything yourself, or do you have somebody do it for you? And like, like uh, what I, apps are you using? Uh, I use Logic Pro, Logic Pro X. And then uh, I have a booth in my house. Like, it's a closet, but I, like, converted it into, like, a professional studio booth. And then I have a mic at the desk with... Uh, two giant monitors. They're performance speakers, but they have a range to where I could use them as like normal monitors. But yeah, I record everything myself. Yeah, I don't think there's anything uh, like any bad equipment. If it works for you, it works yeah. for you. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, we, we've had a lot of garbage here, man. Yeah. <laughs> we've I, got some good recordings. Now. I just know, I just know they're so loud sometimes. It's like I gotta watch the levels, or it messes with my hearing. You know, because sometimes I'll get carried away with the instrumental. And I'll be like vibing to it, and I'll turn it up, turn it up, turn. Oh, that's way too fucking loud. Right. <laughs> you know. You gotta watch your meters, man. Yeah. <laughs> so you born and raised in Detroit area. Uh, yeah, I grew, well, I moved from Roseville on Neiman, uh, to Farmington Hills, so I, I'm in the hills right now, but I like... Fancy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> fancy. Welcome back to Shitville. Oh, he's up, man. Right, right. But, yeah, um, I'm, I'm, yeah, I move around the city, I, I mean... I'm located in the hills, but I mean, I have a presence in Detroit. Ho- right. Hopefully, I'd like to think I do, you know. I'd like to think I do. You got to build it up. Yeah. I mean, I have fans, but it's it's coming. It's Any coming. stalkers yet? Yeah. Well, I, I've had stalkers, <laughs> but that's what, the blo- that's what the block feature is for. <laughs> I leave all the haters on, man. Right. I don't care. <laughs> so this is what my 1911's for. Yeah, let, let them talk. <laughs> No, I'm, oh, sorry. 
Um, if you could pick one venue to play with and an artist, whether it be live and, or dead, don't yeah, be anything. Where and who would it be with? They can be dead. Doesn't yeah. matter. Okay. Um, Your dream. And, and you'll probably show them up because they're dead. <laughs> probably DTE. I know that's it's, it's pretty easily obtained, but that's that's like my main goal right now. Is DTE is easily be easily I've seen, obtained. Well, 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 from what, <laughs> like I've seen, what I've seen people on my Facebook who have performed at DTE with yeah. like dubstep and stuff like that. But uh, it would probably be DTE with either like Eminem or Mac Miller. But Mac Miller is gone, so like a track with either of them would be amazing. Anywhere like out of state, worldwide. LA would be cool. LA Any particular cool. venue you're thinking of, or uh, shoot for the stars, man. Yacht party with all the celebs, you know. I don't even know what that is. Talk to Dre on the boat, you know. Bunch of asses shaking and right, shit. Right. <laughs> That does sound like fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. But all the big names, Ooh. like hearing hearing my music, performing with like Eminem or Mac Miller would be badass. So like, what do you do when you get your music out there? Uh, promote it. Promote it. All you need to do is find that one person to, let, yeah. to hear it and go, damn. Yeah, I mean, Justin what, Bieber was fine on YouTube, for Christ's yeah, sake. Yeah, because what I've been doing is I'll release a video, like I'll... Uh, tease a snippet of uh, one of my videos and then I'll drop it and promote the shit out of it. So, like, and I've been trying to do at least one a month periodically. So. And how's the response, man? But that doesn't Pretty keep good. you in the algorithm. My, fir my first video got uh, ten and a half thousand streams on it, like views. And then... Uh, this we get like 20. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 pat this past one I dropped was like Six and a half thousand, something like that. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. So we'll have I to mean, talk off camera, like what your trick is for promoting, because yeah. obviously we suck at it. <laughs> it's it's Facebook. You just promote through Facebook, but their algorithms are ridiculous. Yeah, like, they're ridiculous. So it's like it's a hit or miss most of the time when you release something with it. So is that the only platform you're releasing uh, content on? Um, well, I release it on Facebook, then I have my link to my YouTube. But right now, I'm promoting on Facebook, and then I'm going to uh, start promoting through the YouTube ad services, all that. But uh, main thing, I like what I've been told by other artists who are pretty out there, is like the main thing is promotion and like getting heard. It's not necessarily about sales until you get to that point. 100%. Right, you got to hit You gotta hit the ears first. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, if no one's hearing it, who cares how many hits you got? Yeah. Like, if they're listening five seconds, it doesn't right. mean anything, you know? Right. I think your content's cool, man. Like, the, the, the songs you played today, man. Thank you. They're, they're fantastic, man. Thank like you said, got a nice, nice, cool, easy vibe to them. Yeah, I work, I work my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they sound good. But, um, yeah, I can't, I switch from that whole angry stuff, so. It's kind of, I you kind gotta of found, put a little in there, though. Yeah, I well, I kind of found like my niche, I think, with what I'm doing with it. Um, but I, I used to be an angry individual. I used to not be in a good place, but I think I finally found my my Zen state. So Ow. right. <laughs> so do you venture out of rap? What you listen to? Do you like? Um, I've done any metal or anything. I've done alternative stuff. Like, I've had a couple out there, uh, tracks out there, but I'm just not, like, a singer. You know what I mean? Um, There's a lot of singers who are famous who aren't yeah. singers. Yeah. <laughs> I can't <laughs> sing. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I've, I've thought about doing other stuff, but I think rap is just where I feel at home. You know? It's kind of, like, where I feel the best with what content I make. So when did you make that switch? What, <laughs> uh well, I started. I started kind of messing around on a mic in eighth grade. In eighth grade is well, when how I old did, are you now? Uh, Twenty-seven. Okay. Twenty-seven. Yeah. So a while ago. But I didn't start like writing lyrics or anything. Like I said, until uh, like late high school. But um, I recorded a song in like eighth grade called "Purple Rose," and it's garbage. But like, <laughs> my, but like my first few songs I had recorded were like me singing, and I decided like you know I like rap music. This is kind of like the people I'm hanging out with or listening to rap and stuff. So I kind of just decided that's that that was what I was gonna follow. You ever thought about revisiting that first song and then like converting it to what you do now? I've thought about it. I've thought about it, but. 
And it could be a good exercise. If, you know? I, if, if I did do it, it would have to be like at a further point in my career. Like to revisit something like that and release it. That would be like kind of like the epitome of going back to the beginning. But if, if the content holds up, though, just, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I just save it for the box set after you get killed in the drive by. <laughs> oh, 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 stop. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a joke. He, he's in Farmington, man. He, he, he's, he's yeah, fine. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> Getting out of St. Clair Shores might be a problem. Yeah. If you avoid the mailman in Farmington, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't get hit. Get in the mail. Other than that, you're good. <laughs> That's a nice area, though. I like it out there. Shout yeah. out to the man, Clooner, King of Farmington, too. Um, he made that name for himself. And who is this fella? Uh, I consider him a friend. I went to see him perform uh, not long ago. Oh, another uh, artist then. Yeah, uh, I know him through Facebook. Um, but yeah, shout out to him. He fucking broke through the scene for Farmington and Farmington Hills. Put us on the map, actually. Like, for sure, 100%. But yeah, shout out to him. Nice. So as a rapper, do you have like a stable of hoes and... <laughs> Second question is, why didn't you bring him with you? Uh, I'm a simple man, and I, I, I don't necessarily bring my hose around everywhere. Be a lot cooler if you did. Too many, ho I have, too many hose snipers out there. I, I, I have bedroom manners, okay, guys. <laughs> All right, we're just joking. You're a classy man. I told yeah. you, dick and fur jokes, man. <laughs> Should we take another little uh, another breather? Yeah, we can do that. Uh, we'll be... Stage and let my voice go out loud Get out of bed in the morning, grab a cup of joe Although I'm not dark roast, I still pack a punch I went to school, didn't pack a lunch Couldn't stand up much, I couldn't muster a pack a punch I was average once, I'm perfectly imperfect If you hurt me, I didn't deserve it But it made me stronger, it made me ponder Am I my father? No, but an apple doesn't fall far from the tree At the time I couldn't see Through the trees I had a vision of who I'd be I look back now, it isn't me was it all a dream thought up in loose leaf paper? It was right in front of me. And I see days go on, change is so small. And I see days go on, no change at all. And I see days go on, change is so small. And I see days go on, no change at all. I wake up every morning grateful, I woke up, I'm thankful days don't waste away with words lost from which I say, it's not about a man's money or wealth, that won't stop a person from killing themselves. it's self care, health, that's where it matters, I love you from the bottom of my heart, if I could hug you through the record I would, but I can't, so here's where I'll start, I wish I could take the world, sit that boy on my lap, tell them to stop causing trouble and just to laugh, laugh at the good and the bad, the sad, even the boring and in between, See with life there's a silver lining I hope you hear my verse and know exactly what I mean I'm just a human but I'm not a human being Life's a struggle in the rain Then out comes that sun gently with a breeze All my dreams are sky high They stay connected to this vibe like it's Wi-Fi Used to ask why I try I think about what Mac and M said I smile back, I just don't give a f I keep walking a fine line between my mind and time I'm up almost all night long Every night just to write these songs and I see days go on, change is so small. And I see days go on, no change at all. And I see days go on, change is so small. And I see days go on, no change at all.
lock your doors, close your windows, turn out your lights for thrills and chills await you every Saturday afternoon at 2 on the Detroit State of Mind. Stay with a friend, say your prayers as grisly ghouls close in to seal your doom. You won't sit still as demons, mummies, and mysterious forces hunt down their victims and cause your blood to run cold from the terror you'll experience on Detroit State of Mind. Every Saturday at 2 p.m. right here on Detroit State of Mind. And we're back with White Boy Hustle. So full length EP. Talk to me. Um, I and, are, and are we recording it for you? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't have plan. Well, I had plans for like an album that I was going to release. Maybe ten tracks. I released one already. I'm. Um, it's called The Brain. Um, it was early work of mine. It's on iTunes, everything like that. Um, How was the response to that? Uh, I'll definitely go check it out. People listen to it, but it's it's not it's definitely not up to par with what I'm doing now. It's but it's is it worth redoing? There's a lot of bands yeah, that have I'm put pro- shit I'm out pro- three or four times, and then like the fifth time it lands. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end up re-recording the album, but uh, yeah, I, that was that was probably the start of when I really got serious with my music. But it's all it's almost good. I hate to say this, like to have shit out there and then listen to it like, wow, I've evolved. I'm yeah. here now. It helps you internally too. One hundred percent, yeah. And it makes you. I think it makes you a better artist, mm-hmm. like all the way yeah. around. You know. Yeah, I've thought about taking it down. I took down a couple. I don't think you should. I took down a couple singles, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I'm probably gonna end up redoing it at some point. That was uh, that had uh, Captain Buzzkill and his dog Sober. <laughs> that's a that's fucking the name of great song. name. That's that that the name of a, a track on it, and uh, <laughs> I, per, I performed that one in uh, at Corktown Tavern, and uh, that was that's a wild one. I have some crazy lines in that one, angry lines. We we should have had you done some of the old stuff. I didn't know you had old stuff until yeah. after. Well, yeah, I I have old stuff, but I'm kind of trying to move away from it, you know. Right change, on. So you don't want to be known head. for that, right? Yeah. I yeah, feel but, like that's yeah, but then we could blackmail you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel like there's... We uh, want some of them hoes. <laughs> <laughs> one track, one hoe. <laughs> I, I feel like there's a lot of that angry rap, though, out nowadays. And it's like, I'm kind of trying to be in my own lane with what I'm doing, too. You know? And the angry rap will never be as good as it was. Yeah, well, I, well yeah, since like... All these artists are like becoming like OG artists now, and then all these new mainstream ones. A lot of them, in my opinion, don't sound that good. And they, they can't. It's all studio it. tricks. Yeah, but um, I I think it's important to keep the art with the music, and a lot of people don't do that nowadays. You know. True. But uh, when when I started with my music, it was uh. It was a point I made in my head to like keep the art with it. I didn't want to just fall into like becoming mainstream or like doing what everybody else was doing. I wanted to kind of like a main goal was like I wanted to involve lyricism with it, a big part of it. But that's where I started. I wanted it. I kind of like had the inspiration like, oh, I could do something like Eminem, you know, like that's where I first hit like, oh, I could I could make a, a punchline or a hit like that. But. I don't know, I've kind of moved into my own zone, like I've been saying. It seems like your lyrics are very, uh, like, about you. Like, like yeah. a, they're kind of sensitive a little bit. Yeah. You know, it's, really. It's got some spirit to yeah, it. Yeah, it's got, it's got some soul behind it. it there, there, there's Thank content you. there. Thank you. You know? It's not just like, oh, I'm yeah. driving down the street my 6'4", fucking yeah, yeah, with my yeah. bitches and my gat, yeah. you know. Yeah, I, I, I heard that I a thousand I, times, man. Like yeah. I said, I like hoes, though. <laughs> 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 well, I like piano and rain. I do. I, I like that. That's the second song I liked a lot. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad you actually screwed up a couple times, and yeah. we actually got to hear it like yeah. more than once. Like, cause I'm, I'm, I, I'm in the back, like fucking feeling this shit, man. I, I had to get it perfect, you know. Right. I had to get it perfect. Those are like very emotional songs. And yeah. I had to, you you know, can tell in the lyrics. Yeah. They, so they come somewhere. Is there a muse? Um. No. No. I've been. If if you mean substance wise, I've been sober for four years. But uh, my muse is just kind of I get in my zone sometimes. Or it'll be like I get in a bad mood or uh, uh, I get depressed or something. And then I kind of force myself to head over to my booth and record something. 
a little therapy, yeah. so to speak. It's kind of like, yeah, it's kind, it's self therapy. Yeah, I, I can see rap working that way when you 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 got a feeling and you can just let it out. Well, yeah. it's it's almost just like writing your thoughts down in a journal, really. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're rap, rock, like yeah. whatever it is, man. Just getting your uh, yeah. When I when I write though, when I start writing, it's just kind of like it's kind of like I'm texting somebody, just like like I'm talking to somebody, but it's like just my lyrics. Like dear Stan. I, yeah. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, I, I I uh, write my lyrics on my phone because it's kind of the easiest thing to hold up. Like, when yeah. I'm on the mic, but different from a note, a notepad. I started out with a notepad. I could barely read my own writing. So <laughs> Same. It's, 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 that didn't work out well. My doctor wrote that for me. You got any gigs coming up and, or anything um, on the nothing, docket? Nothing right now. But I've been thinking about reaching out to a couple venues. but Would you be down to do a show with like our band? Yeah, I'd be down. I think that'd be fantastic. Be you haven't even heard us, though. So. We I might suck. <laughs> we'll, we'll spin you a couple okay. before you leave. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's out there. What's your band's name? Uh, Bang Shifter. Bang Shifter. Yeah. I like the name. Compliments to Dave. It's like over here. Watch. Yeah. It's just shifting without a clutch. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so the 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 voicemail that was on the, the one track is that a real voicemail? That's a sampled voicemail. I, I was hoping that was going to be a real voicemail. No, no. That, that's <laughs> a, I was I thought maybe that was the news. That's that's a, right. That's a sampled voicemail. It's been used in a couple other artist songs. Um, I was gonna use a personal one, but I decided not to. You know, um, I'm I, I'm probably gonna end up getting another one recorded from somebody, but just for like. Uh, royalty issues when I put it out on platforms but uh, other artists have used it like Rod Wave used it in uh, a huge one of his songs um, he's a big artist um, but yeah, it's just a sample I found it out it was like spoken poetry or something something like that so as far as like like new music right now like like what are you listening to like today like what's in your car what's in your your, your headphones you know whatever um is it Bang Shifter? I, I, I was listening to... <laughs> Cannibal Corpse? Well, I listen to a lot of older stuff and sometimes new stuff, but uh, like last time I was bumping music in my car was Holy Grail with Jay-Z and Justin Timberlake. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. That, that, that's what's grabbing you right now? Yeah. Well, I mean, it bumps in my car. It sounds good. But, uh, <laughs> If I, when I get into an album, it's like a Kendrick release or something, and his last release I got into was the album Damn. That one I could listen through from beginning to end, like. And then he re, he re-released it too, uh, backwards. So you play it through the, the really? opposite way, yeah. That's gotta be like a mind fuck. <laughs> yeah, but I think it like it kind of it it uh it's like the story works both ways. I think. I think really? That's what he did with it. Yeah. <coughs> So the record itself is not just played backwards, you're saying? No, it's, he it's like the, put track, the tracks. The tracks are in the. Oh, record. okay. So, so the initial it, one is a story it, like top to bottom, yeah. and then you just okay. It tells a story either way. That's kind of cool. Yeah. It's like watching a movie in reverse. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a dope album too. My favorite album of his is still Good Kid, Mad City though. That's a really good album. Yeah, I am not. I have no clue. What's... <laughs> Sounds like Charlie Brown's teacher to me. <laughs> yeah, womp, womp, womp. Womp, 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 womp. If you had to pick an artist to collaborate with besides Eminem, a local guy, for instance. Royce to 5'9 would be cool. I'm hip to that cat. Is he really 5'9? I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't <laughs> That'd know. That'd be funny if he was like just a little short dude. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Royce, that would be a cool one. Royce, if you watch this, let's collab. I've never actually, I, I've seen the guy's name. Wow, I can totally hear that ping. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to edit that out. Right. <laughs> and we'll wait. Fuck. <laughs> and we're waiting. Damn. <laughs> right. I'm just depressed. Yeah. <laughs> That's like me three in the morning every night. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Holy shit. 
<laughs> Two hours later. Right. Yeah. Who needs beer? Uh, I'm good. You could have had one two hours ago. Oh. Yeah, we're going to edit all that out. <laughs> or sample it. Yeah, Just was... had the pee going like, in the background. That was a long kiss, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's like two beers worth. <laughs> so have you collaborated on a record with, with any of your buddies uh, at all? Uh, I have a song with Clooner. Uh, it's called Say You Don't Give a Fuck. That's one of... Uh, Is that one of the angry ones? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hulk smash. Um, I'm remixing it though, and then re-releasing that single on Apple and everything. Uh, I'm I'm hoping uh, me and him get a music video done with it. I've talked to him back and forth about that. Um, and then is I, uh, this guy back here gonna do that? Uh, I, probably. probably. <laughs> but then uh, I have two other tracks I did. I did a song with Telebands. It was the guy I knew, and then uh, Wordplay. Uh, an artist I know from online. I know him through Instagram. You saw it, like do like an online collaboration yeah. type thing to send tracks back and forth? Yeah, but uh, that song was called Enemies, and I'm remixing that one too. I'm going to re-release that. So I like that one a lot. I don't know if I'm going to release uh, I Want It All, which was the one with Telebands. Um, again, I might just drop that on a project in the future or something, but that ended up getting taken down. Why did it get taken down? I took it down. Oh, oh gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not taking anything down. Yeah, I, just some of the audio quality is just so garbage with some of the stuff I've released. It's like. But again, you got to learn from it, though. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't know. So, some stuff I'm pro I'm probably gonna keep that album up, you know. But just a couple of the singles I felt like were not up to standard with what I should have out. You should. Uh, we should do a bang shifter song with a rap breakdown in the middle. Dude, that's a great idea, dude. We need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Actually, I do need a beer. Sorry. Actually, I have to pee too. So talk about yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if you can hold up the uh, hold up the buddy. Oh no, you can't hold up to that one. She's yeah, a race horse. Hold my beer. Watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> my great game would have been. Do you get uh, any future collaborations in uh, the works? I, you talking I, to anybody? Uh, I had messaged the Palmer Squares about doing a collab. I talked to them, and I talked to Bazaar about doing a collab. D12's Bazaar. Um, not at the moment, though. Any response from them? Uh, I talked to both of them. But, yeah. Uh, money was involved, so it's not something... I, I just don't feel like... They're a little bigger. They want to yeah, get paid, right? Yeah, I just don't feel like at this point in time doing a paid feature is something I'm interested in. You're not ready? Yeah. Yeah, D12, they've been around a minute. Yeah. Long time. Bazaar is one of the OGs. Respect to him for that. You know, His music's good still. He's still putting out tracks. I can't say I've never listened to anything. Wait, who's that? Bazaar. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm hip. Yeah. yeah. I'm definitely more rap than Dave is. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> I'm like steeped in Black Sabbath kind of guy. I like guitar-driven stuff. Yeah. Do you guys listen to Alice in Chains? Oh, yeah. It's so good. I, I did 30 years ago. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's still good, man. D uh, Dirt is probably my favorite album. Is that the one with Rooster on it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a John yeah, Flies so fan. Good. That's a pretty good one. Jarflies is really good. Um, Wait, who? Oh, Jarflies? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a more uh, Acoustics slower, yeah, style. mellow vibe, yeah. Soundgarden's great, too. Yeah? Uh, like the, <laughs> probably one of my favorite tracks by them was uh, The Day I Tried to Live. Great song. Such a good one. I don't know Fourth that Fourth of July one. is my favorite. I like uh, Jesus Christ Pose. It's a great it's got a, know, a, a great a lot, guitar a lot, lick to it. A lot of people are gonna uh, like say like, "Oh, Black Hole Sun was their best song or whatever," but that's just because it was the mainstream. Mailman, Mailman, Fourth of July, Spoon, Spoon Man, Spoon Man's okay. It, it's pretty good. It's it pretty is good. played out though. Yeah, but uh, well, once you hear anything a thousand times, I'd love to be played out. Wouldn't you love to be played yeah. out? Are you yeah. kidding me? <laughs> There's three songs. I think it's on Super Unknown. It's Ty Cobb, Mailman, and Fourth of July. 
Just I, I don't know any of those songs. Oh man, they're the best. Audio Slave when uh, Chris Cornell moved into Audio Slave was that the same band? Did they just trans- that, that's Rage Against the Machine with fucking uh, with Chris, Chris Cornell, Cornell, dude. Oh okay. Yeah, okay, the yeah. whole band is Rage. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, he sounds mumble. He sounded mumbly in that one, so I never really got into Audio Slave. You know what I mean? Did you ever get into Rage Against the Machine though? Yeah. Dude. Yeah. I went to see House of Pain again. It's probably like twenty five years ago, and Rage Against the Machine was opening up. I had no idea who the hell they were, who was opening up, and they just blew that stage up, dude. It was mind blowing, dude. It was unbelievable. It in the name of- dude, I would love to have seen House of Pain back in the day. I saw them at the Fillmore in San Francisco uh, with Biohazard. Really, dude? It was it was so cool, <laughs> man. At the end, the the DJ for um, uh, Lethal. Yeah, he threw his freaking turntable out into the crowd and just like split. People were fist fighting over it. Oh, dude. But all that aside, just to go to the Fillmore one time like, and see all the artwork and the posters oh, yeah. of all. Oh, dude. I, I just got chills even thinking about Alden it. All Brothers live at the Fillmore? Get you dude, some of that. Dude, I was there one time, man. It, it, was, it was sweet. It was very cool. Yeah, House of Pain, Cypress Hill. Old rap I love. You know, uh,. Public Enemy, NWA, that shit is all I, I listened to when I was My first there. tattoo, Public Enemy. <laughs> <laughs> I was 16, man. Chuck D's the man. You ever dig in the uh, Public Enemy's catalog? Can't Dude, say you need to. Oh, man. You need to, I mean, man. I might have, but just not paid attention. I remember I bought the, the cassette, and the, the lyric sheet came on a separate piece of paper on the inside, and it folded out to like this big. You're correct. And you needed a microscope to read it. Dude, he, he spits probably 700 words per song, it seems like. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. And he never repeats himself hardly. The only one who repeats himself is Flavor. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, they were so great, man. So oh, as far as like old school rap, like are you into any of that at all? or? Uh, Wu-Tang Clan. I like them. Um, that's mid-grade. That's mid, it's <laughs> mid, mid-time rap. Yeah. D12. I like D12. That's... Um, about it. I'd say, oh, uh, man, you need to listen to some Bone Thugs song. and Harmony, maybe, man. That's I, a little too melodic for my yeah. taste. Like, I want to. No, I, I gotta talk that's about. That's what I like, man. Really? De La Soul was fucking amazing. I did man. like De La Soul, like, uh, amazing, like Tribe man. Called Quest. You know, Tribe shit. Called Quest was really good. You know, shit like that. Yep. Yeah, you like the mellow, the, the, the smooth rap. The De La well, Soul you gotta smoke like a lot of it. weed if you're gonna get into that. What about I, the gorillas? I, you like the gorillas? Yeah. Uh, I used to smoke a lot of weed. I don't anymore, though. Why not? Uh, just mess with me. Oh, that's a hard-hitting question. <laughs> uh, you, ever had the co- you ever had the cops call on you? Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to talk about that, man. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I used to be into a lot of stupid shit. So, weed just... Welcome to the club, you know, dude. Just, just weed kind of, like... I couldn't be in the right mind frame to like live everyday life doing weed because it would make me want to do other things, and then I just kind of. It's a know. gateway. It just made me want to eat pizza and play like Sega yeah, Genesis, yeah, man. Yeah, like like it made me lazy. It made me the worst version of myself, and I know that it's like a lot of people don't like associate marijuana with like. Well, it affects people differently though yeah, too. It affects so, everybody different. Yeah, it know. makes me a dumber version of myself. <laughs> I was a. Dumbass. I was a dumbass on weed. Well, at least you wised up then. You you know what's right for you. I grew up. I grew up some. Sometimes that's not a good thing either, though. Yeah. Well, you have to stay young at heart at least, you know. Oh, I'm young at heart. Grow up, but don't grow old. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I looked at myself in the mirror the other day. Like I said, I'm turning 50 in a couple weeks. I'm like, oh, fuck. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I'm 27, gonna be 28 next year. I'm, I feel old. You have any I gray hair old. yet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do. I do. I'm starting to get gray hair sprinkled through the top Once of a my couple head. comes, it's gonna be like a rainstorm yeah. of gray well, coming down. Most of, it, most of it's been coming on the side. Perfect. Right? Shave it off. But, yeah, <laughs> Problem solved. But I've been shaving my head there, so it's like, it doesn't matter either way. Right. Yeah, wait till your nut bush starts turning oh, fucking gray. Jesus. <laughs> then you feel old. <laughs> See, I'm not there yet. Me it's, neither. It's, it's only like from like these five Chesters I have. I up. found one, but I ain't gonna pluck it because that's what happened here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it. It can hang. 
<laughs> it's like 12 inches. <laughs> one single hair. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like this long. Dude, when you decide to pluck it, frame it. Frame it, yeah. yeah. And then autograph it. I had to blame it on a dog. <laughs> you don't even have a dog. You know, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take another uh, little quick breather. White Boy Hustle again, in the house. Hey, I'm kind of glad you didn't pick up. I kind of just called to hear your voice, so your voice recording was enough. Ugh, I should hang up, what am I doing? Um, so I, I feel kind of dumb, but uh, I miss you, I miss you, I miss you. And if I said I love you, would you believe me? Tell you a hundred times, you're always on my mind And if I said I didn't need you, would you hate me? Tell you a hundred times, you're always on my mind And if I said I love you, would you believe me? Tell you a hundred times, you're always on my mind And if I said I didn't need you, would you hate me? Tell you a hundred times, you're always on my mind I never meant to make you wait, but now sitting here I feel the weight I got a lot on my shoulders, I got a lot on my plate But for you right here, baby girl, I got all day I throw it all away if I could just get a moment of your time I know it always seems like I got a lot on my mind It's cause I do, I'm thinking of you Now if I said I wasn't, I'd be telling a lie I'm an average man, I'm a nice guy I just wanna hold your hand, look up at the night sky Chilling by the lake, the water has no wake It's getting kinda late we inside, I start the poor gray goose I ask how much you take, we getting tipsy I put on music, we bumpin' nipsy We start the vibe to it And if I said I love you, would you believe me? Tell you a hundred times, you're always on my mind And if I said I didn't need you, would you hate me? Tell you a hundred times, you're always on my mind And if I said I love you, would you believe me? Tell you a hundred times, you're always on my mind And if I said I didn't need you, would you hate me? Tell you a hundred times, you're always on my mind Before you know it, we get to it, we get busy I take off your sundress, then I get undressed Go back to the water, run off the dock You know what I have to offer, then I whip out my gear I'm a gentleman with a few hoes but tonight it's just for you and me both intertwined by the fate of the moonlight in this moment right now this feels right we bask in greatness only ripples and wake now nah, the ones we're making i stop all thought and think your body in my arms i promise if you're with me you'll come to no harm i love the way you talk in my ear tell me all your insecurities and all your fears i reciprocate and tell you all mine by the way the day's gone we'll be just fine it'll be us together till the end of time and if I said I love you, would you believe me? Tell you a hundred times, you're always on my mind. And if I said I didn't need you, would you hate me? Tell you a hundred times, you're always on my mind. And if I said I love you, would you believe me? Tell you a hundred times, you're always on my mind. And if I said I didn't need you, would you hate me? Tell you a hundred times, you're always on my mind. This is Paul Grace Smith from The Strains, Liz and the Luckouts, The Royal Sweets, The Bright Moors, and Bullet Wound. And you're listening to Detroit State of Mind. We're back. Now, you don't hate people who smoke weed, do you? No, no absolutely not. <laughs> smoke up, Johnny. <laughs> no. Tear it up, man. I was just making sure that it didn't sound like a... No, oh, no, no, I'm totally cool. Dog's back here ripping bong hits. Uh, yes. <laughs> Got the, stinks in got here. Got the four foot graphics. Oh. <laughs> no, but, is, that a, is that a bong brand? Yeah, yeah. graphics. Was it, was it X? You've heard of graphics, right? Maybe. Back I in have. the day, they made bongs. Yeah. It's a tight game. Yeah, yeah and you pull the. the yeah. Oh, that's oh, why he can't oh, be no. on camera. He no. has a, he has a uh, you know big boy job at a, you know, that place. <laughs> that place. <laughs> yeah. But to be clear, like I'm like I'm not against marijuana. Oh, same here. I think it should be 100% legal. I don't smoke myself because uh, yeah, my I job. Do too. I do too. There's nothing wrong with with right. weed if, if you want to do it. Whatever, what, 
anybody wants to do is totally, you know, it's... Well, I don't agree with heroin. Well, no. No, <laughs> not heroin. But like oh, it's, hey, it's, but if you're dumb enough to do it, you're on your own. That's right, how I look right. at it. But if somebody, if somebody smokes... Doesn't mean I'm not going to try to talk you You could smoke it. in the same room with me and I wouldn't care. But it's like, yeah. I just am not going to hit it. I don't like the smoke, but I love the smell. I love the smell of it, dude. Smell. <laughs> yeah. The good old days. Ugh, every time I get a whiff. Do they make candles that are weed scented? Probably. Yes, absolutely. Probably. Or just you know, it's by by a J. Just light it and let it burn in the ashtray. <laughs> it's a candle. Well, if you have good stuff, it'll go out. Yeah. <laughs> it's the sticky icky. <laughs> So, so when are you dropping your next video, your next song? Uh, like, what, next, what can we expect yeah. from you in the coming weeks? Well, Promote yourself, son. My next video should be coming out. Uh, Is it going to be on our show today? Well, that one's going to be on this show, on your show today. So you guys have that exclusively for right now. Yes. Exclusively for right now. But We're going to copyright it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing, man. No, but uh, next month I'm dropping uh, Rain, the video for Rain. So, uh, and what's is that the about? last one you did today? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like Never that mind. One. And that, well, yeah. The chorus yeah, part yeah. of that is really, it's good. Yeah. yeah. How many takes did lyrics. it take to record that song? Because uh, there's a lot of words to that song, man. Like on, on, the, on, the, record, on, the, on the hook. To record it the way it is. Or you just copy and paste? No. <laughs> Please don't. No. Um, well, I, I recur record uh, verse by verse and the chorus separately. Yep. You know? So I do the same thing, man. Get I went, out of breath. I went through the song the first time, and it took me a long time to get it like all down. But then I memorized it and stuff because I did have a show set up before that I was going to perform, uh, and then uh, that fell through. Whatever. But um, I memorized that song and re-recorded it, like just because of memorization, and I just went through. Well, every time you do it, it'll yeah. get better and yeah. better too, you know. Yeah. But yeah, it took a while. Yeah. I bet. It's an intricate song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever freestyle? Yeah, I uh I used to a lot. I'm pretty rusty at the moment, but I used to that's kinda like how I got started into like the recording aspect is I'd freestyle listening to a beat and then I'd like record, you know. But Can we get you to do an acapella freestyle right now? Sure. Do it. Let's have a rap battle. Alright. For the love of the game, for the love of the money, people always talk, but they can never back shit up. Just a white kid with green dreams, high beams shine and show me the way. Fuck the garbage nowadays on the radio, they tell me I got a crazy flow. Yeah, I'm gonna make it big, come up from nothing. All these kids keep on puffing bowls in Farmington Hills. All they do is get money from the parents, get all these pills. But it's apparent that I'm going to be something bigger than all of these bums around me. They surround me, but they can never harm me. They can't touch me because I'm a one-man army, and I'm going to stand up against them all. I'll never fall. I'm just going to ball. Okay. We appreciate you, brother, for coming on. Appreciate yeah, thanks you. Thanks for coming, man. Thank Absolutely. you so much, dude. We had a fucking blast, dude. Yeah, it was fun. Appreciate you get more stuff there. down? We definitely want to have you back yeah, if, if you're if you're welcome. I'm down. I'm down. Peace. Good night. <laughs> God bless. Take the happy away, I'm wide awake, smiling big, a big ass grin on my face. Who else feels good? Nothing's out of place. I'm so high right now, I'm in outer space. But I'm sober as shit. You can see it on my face. 
Got some pep in my step, no chip on my shoulder with no weight from any rock or any boulder and I'm so happy today. Yeah, I'm so happy today. Why time fly? One night I heard the crack of lightning the Sky was all dark, the power was out, yeah A golden glow above grew Spoke that real truth Going three, two, one Drift away The ship in an ocean, galaxy sea Shining lights, stars, far as the eye can see Fast trip through time, seconds to me You in eternity, long nights Days the same, it's all bright, it all stays the same. Darkness ahead, lightly we tread, fast searching, past hurting. Live in this moment, forced to be wrecking me to master. It seems I've been beckoned, I'm destined for great feats. The seat of seats, the throne of thrones. I'm the king, I put the universal crown on. I put my city, my whole hometown on. I'm Dave, and he's Rich, and thanks for tuning in to the Detroit State of Mind podcast. Join us again next week for more shenanigans and probably a lot of fucking swear words. Good evening. Sleep tight. Don't let the fucking bed bugs bite. All that other good shit. The Detroit State of Mind podcast. 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 Fuck you. I wish they'd play my band. I doubt it. Uh. Fuck you! <laughs>